you go, brother. Take a good shot. Don't forget your brother from Nigeria. Hey, Pakistan. It started really as a project in an art class, and we were studying about and being asked to do interventionist art projects. And I've been collecting, buying and collecting homeless signs since 1993. And it occurred to me that one project that I could do that would make uh, a lot of sense was to organize sort of a flash mob event where, you know, people would get together and do just what we're doing, which is really just to raise awareness for the homeless. So we have a domain, the domain weareallhomeless.org, and it points to a blog that literally has um, links to other homeless shelters in Dallas and uh, other ways you can help. That's great. This so, is the second one that we've done like this. We, we've right. been doing, we did the first one a few months ago and um, you know, each time they get a little bit bigger. So hopefully we'll keep doing more. Last one. And um, I think it's wonderful. I think it provides um, really positive awareness. Not collecting money, but not, raising okay. awareness. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. Out of curiosity, how many signs do you have in your collection? Probably about 150 or so. I haven't, I, you know, I'm always buying them, so I'm not always sure, but somewhere around 150. Which one's your favorite? Uh, well, the, my favorite one is one that we don't have out here now, but it actually says, vibrator out of batteries, please help. That's why we're trying to raise away. I went all the way to Miami. I'm trying to beat the help the homeless. So we'll say Miami, Atlanta. Uh, Tampa Bay, I know. I'm with you. Man. They'll go overseas and get everybody. Yeah. But they're not gonna help. They'll put you in jail. One night, get thirty-five hundred dollars. Back back there. Yeah, but then once we explained ourselves and said we're not making a mockery, we're here to spread awareness. Um, they said thank you. Thanks.